Good morning to you guys. This is Adebanji Alade and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now guys, 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 my message for you for the end of this year and for your start in 2016 is never ever give up. Did you hear me? Did you catch the vibe? Now let me tell you, never ever give up. Now, as creative people, you know, sometimes we do get into a rut, we get into this hole, and it's almost like, you know, is my work gonna count? All the effort, all the sketching, all the studies, all the painting, is it really gonna take me to where I wanna be? Can I really make it? Now, 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 there is one thing you need to know. If you set your mind on a particular goal and you follow it through, you visualize it every day, you work hand in hand with it and you don't give up, I can guarantee you that it is only time that's separating you from getting what you want. What did I say? It is only time that will separate you from getting what you want. So my message for you going into 2016 is never ever give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. It is not about the destination sometimes. It's about the journey. It is about what you are becoming, what you are unfolding, what you your life is going to be like in the process of getting there. It's the mileage that counts. Guys, I'm just going to bring this out. My sketch pad refuses to dry up. I sketch every day. I'm doing this not because I have arrived, guys. Not because I've made it. I will keep sketching and improving my eye and hand coordination because I believe that that's one way that I can be the best that I can be. I'm not competing with others and you need to know that too. You're not competing with anyone. You are being the best you can be just like an athlete, just like a sportsman, just like a musician. You're working every day. It's a workout. But for, for creative people, we even need a more mental workout because there is a lot of similarities, a lot of relationships between art and fear. Art and fear. As creative people, we're afraid of what people are going to say about our work. How are they going to feel about it? What are they going to say? How are they going to handle it? And sometimes just the fear of what people will say will draw you back, will put you into a prison. Now I want to release you from that. I want to say don't give up. Now it's not about what people think. Yeah, you're going to take their critics, you're going to take all what they say, but I want you to focus on doing what you need to do. I'm going to give you my story. This is where I'm going. In 2007 was the first time when I was 35 years old, I had an opportunity for the first time to get my work recognized by a major society in England the Royal Institute of Oil Painters. So that year was great because the first time I was able to get through was the first time I also was able to win a major award. I won the first prize in the under 35, under 35 category in the Royal Institute of Oil Painters. This is a well-recognized art society in England and even the world. And in 2007, I said to myself, after receiving a letter from Dennis Syret, who was the president then, he said, we like your work and we want you to continue submitting. And I looked at myself and says, whoa, so these guys want me to keep on submitting. And I kept on submitting every year because I wanted to become a member of this prestigious society. But you know what happened? Do you know what happened? In 2008, I submitted, it was okay. In 2009, they said they were gonna make me a provisional member. I was over the moon! And I kept on trying. I kept on doing my best. I put in 2009. 2010, I thought they were gonna make me an associate. It didn't happen. 2011, I thought I was gonna move to the next stage, but I didn't give up. 2012 came, my last opportunity, and boom! 
they make me all of a sudden an associate member and I was so happy so but it wasn't the associate I was after I wanted to be a full member so in 2012 going to 2013 I put in work again yes but I didn't get elected 2014 yes but I didn't get elected but look at the journey from 2007 to 2014 still believing not giving up and here comes the year of victory 2015 I was so scared I didn't even go for the meeting. And then on Sunday, on Sunday, guys, listen to me. I want you to hear this. On Sunday, I, 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 I got a call from the president of the Royal Institute of Oil Painters. And do you know what he told me? Do you know what he told me? He said, I have some good news for you, man. He said, you are now a full member of the Royal Institute of Oil Painters. I said, God, thank you. But that's why I'm encouraging you. You've got a dream, you've got a belief, you wanna follow it through. Don't stop, don't stop. If you're sketching, keep sketching. If you're painting, keep painting. Whatever you're doing, work hard at it. Set goals for yourself. Set high goals for yourself. Don't set small goals. Set believable goals. Set achievable goals. Sometimes you're even gonna to have to set goals that you don't even think you can achieve. Goals that would challenge the daylight out of you. But at the end of the day, it's going to produce a fruit and that fruit is going to be sweet because you're going to see that even though you, you, you might think that you haven't changed that much, you're not the same person you used to be. Are you with me? So guys, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, a Merry Merry Christmas. I got my present early. Uh, hey, so I want you guys to, 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 to just believe in yourselves, keep going, keep doing this creative thing. We need each other as creative people, and I'm talking to you right now as you're listening to me. Go for it. Give it. Show them!